what is up guys g martin here if you're new to the channel then welcome if you've been watching for a while now then welcome back obviously i'm not in my usual filming location this is actually going to be a drone tutorial so i thought i'd just film this outside where i'm going to fly hey bird but anyways uh obviously by the title of this video you're probably curious what this is about i'm going to be talking about the dji spark and camera settings that you probably don't not know about you probably know about them but you're not using them correctly first off when you get the drone you're not in the mindset of I need to change everything to make it perfect. You're in the mindset of I need to get this drone out and I need to get it in the air right now because I just want to fly it that badly. Because, you know, obviously we all did that, I did that. But what you need to do first off is instead of flying in auto settings, you need to make that manual. Now, half the people watching this video already know that. You probably already fly in manual. But then there's a few other settings you need to tweak also. You need to look into A, your white balance, and you need to set that accordingly with the environment around you so you get the best lighting possible. You need to mess with your shutter speed and your ISO. These are two very important things and you need to tweak them accordingly to get the best lighting possible. Now, when you do this, obviously you can set it to however you want, but you wanna make sure your scene is not too dark, as in the shadows are, they overtake wherever you're flying, but you also wanna make sure that they're not too light, meaning your shot is overexposed, like you can't, there's no detail in the shot. This is not what you wanna have. You wanna make sure it's equal, like all, all around, and you just wanna make sure everything's perfect. So that's pretty much that little quick tutorial I thought I'd throw out there. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is one of the many I'm going to be putting out this summer. I hope this tutorial helped you out a lot as it really made me think a bit more about how I fly my drone. And that's really all I have to say about that. So 